Thank you. Uh, so just before I get started, I just want to do a very quick background about myself. I'm someone, I'm now almost 34 years old. I've had epilepsy since I was one and a half. I am now an advocacy champion from Pennsylvania. Um, but also, before I dive into my story, uh, just kind of going to leave it up for you guys to fill in. Does uh, anyone know what an important day today is? Anyone? It's International National Epilepsy Emergency. Yes. So, uh, you know, I like to think of when I'm here at this conference that just remember that uh, you're not alone. There are a lot, there's over 3.4 million people in the US, 65 million people in the world that live with epilepsy. So when you feel like you're alone, when you feel like you're at it alone, just remember there's a lot of others there. And we're here to be a voice for the whole community. Some people might not be at the point yet to share their story, but um, it says a lot about you that you're able to do that. So thank you to everyone. Um, and I'm a, I mentioned I had my first seizure at the age of one and a half. I'm a case that was not missed over time because my first seizure was my worst seizure. Uh, I could not breathe for three minutes. I was flown by helicopter to Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh. And I had multiple reoccurring seizures on my way over. Um, when I got to the hospital in Pittsburgh, I, uh, one of the first medicines they put me on was Tegretol. Uh, to this day, that is my only allergy. It completely wiped out my white blood cell count to zero. So I was put in intensive care. Um, and this is a time in my life my parents like to remember that the doctors are not always right. I was, they were being told that I would not be able to walk or talk again for the rest of my life after five days of totally not being able to move or talk. Um, so after I learned about this, I wanted to try to be a voice for the whole community. Um, and I actually had a really cool opportunity come my way when I was in elementary school. Um, I, after I kind of learned some things about epilepsy and about my uh, story, my elementary school had this program that they were running that then they asked me to speak at on behalf of people with epilepsy called Learning From Our Differences. So each day of the week, they, you would learn about it. Um, you would have members from the community come and talk about a different disability, what it's like, how people deal with it, how you overcome it. And so I spoke about epilepsy from when I was in first grade through sixth grade. Um, and my opinion through life to reduce fear has been to just constantly share my story, to share about epilepsy with everyone, you know, from teammates to coaches to friends to coworkers, neighbors, whatever. I feel like the more that know, the less fear, less fear, ju less judgment. Um, epilepsy has actually led to a lot of different kinds of accolades for me throughout my life, but uh, that's not what it's about for me. For me, the more rewarding kinds of things uh, just come from being able to say that even though I've had a lot of seizures, I've never been alone without someone who knew about my epilepsy. I've always been with someone. Um, and recently, my most recent seizure came as I was at work. And the reaction of my employer, Wegmans, was very good the day of, and then following through after that. Um, and then also my, my brother, who right now lives out in the Los Angeles area. But it was neat to hear when he saw a total stranger having a seizure out on the street as he was at lunch, how he reacted perfectly, and uh, even though it wasn't someone he was related to at all. Um, so yeah, so I like to see things like that through my life. Um, I personally am another one who has had brain surgery. I had brain surgery back in uh, 2013, but um, like many of you, my mind is wired a little bit differently. Um, so when they asked me a couple of questions, they were surprised by my answers. The, uh, the one that really stuck out to the neurologist and the neurosurgeon, I'm going to pause for a minute, feel free to chime in. So um, what wears a black hat and rides on a broom? 
to which the world would say, a witch. Yes, thank you, a witch. Well, uh, my creative mind said Mary Poppins. The, the neurologist and the neurosurgeon were looking at me. They're like, the neurologist is like, I've done this for 25 years, and I have never heard this in my life. And the neurosurgeon is like, well, I'm kind of like black and white. He's like, you know, it's not totally wrong. It's not totally right. Um, but, you know, there's a lot of people like me in the world who can do really well in the textbooks and have the good fine motor skills. But he's like, the world needs more people like you who kind of uh, are, are creative and see things outside of the box. So um, that, uh, that was a nice spin on it for me. But um, I've been able to handle difficult times through life. I got through college on time, even though my seizures came back after some dormancy. They came back entering my last semester of my senior year of college. Um, and uh, then I had like 18 over the next year. And as I was having those, we were talking, I was talking with my neurologist and said I was a good candidate for the brain surgery. So I had my, uh, then I had my brain surgery, and afterwards I lived with my parents for a little bit and did a couple part-time jobs in the area because they didn't want me to be too far away or anything of the sort. So then the next step in my life was I re recently uh, moved to King of Prussia, Pennsylvania, where then I lived on my own and I worked full-time in King of Prussia. Um, and then life changed again. I had last, last year I had two seizures near events, actually. So the, the one seizure came at the end of April, um, totally out of the blue. I'd gone almost eight years, but I didn't let that stop me. I uh, still spoke at the National Walk to End Epilepsy last year at the start of May. Um, and then I had one middle of September of last year and it was on a Wednesday, on the Friday, Saturday, Sunday, there was a adult retreat with the Epilepsy Foundation of Eastern Pennsylvania, and I decided, well, I still want to go on this. Uh, there will be people who know me, there will be doctors, there. so uh, I didn't want to let it hold me back there. Um, and epilepsy is a challenge, but it gives us obstacles, and those obstacles can make us stronger. So, one, Remember, as you're with senators, representatives, constituents, whatever, tomorrow, that um, they also have challenges they're facing, so nothing has to be perfect by any stretch of the imagination. You're your own worst critic, and uh, something my grandpa used to say that I like to live by myself is everyone's fighting some hard battle, um, and a saying that I like to personally incorporate into my own life when raising awareness about epilepsy is I like to say epilepsy does not have me. Instead, I have epilepsy. Right. So good luck, everyone. Thank you for listening. Okay.